Alrighty, what is up guys? Jesse504 here, going over my week one team builder for the LBT. This week we are up against Luke. Luke's team is kind of the one that's not quite geared towards Ubers as much as the rest, but it's still a strong team centered around a bunch of really nice tier two mons. So his team consists of Galarian Darmanitan, Mega Bayonet, um, Dracovish, Dragapult, Necrozma, Ferrothorn, Pelipper, Whimsicott, Rabombi, Nihiligo, and Kartana. So, pretty strong team. Kind of a rain team, but not quite. So to start it off, I just wanted to grab Kieran Black, Leftovers, Terrible, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Icicle Spear, Fusion Bolt, just a really strong physical breaker that not a lot of his team can hold up to, especially once that Ferrothorn goes down. Kind of not really too much that can hold this thing back. And up next, Cinderace, Libero for the ability, obviously. Pyroball, U-turn, Sucker Punch, Court Change. The Sucker Punch there was to like mostly get the Dragapult once that thing goes down. Also, the Necrozma it's pretty good for. And then this thing also, if the Darm isn't Scarfed, it can do work against that. Court Change just for Hazards because he has the Ferrothorn and the um, Nihiligo and the Necrozma, which are all pretty solid Hazard Siders, not to mention Webs from Rabombi if that thing wants to come. And up next, Goku, Zerkatry, Blunder Policy, Beast Boost. So with Hypnosis, this is going to be the main way to activate the Blunder Policy. And once we do, plus two speed can kind of just run through the team. Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, just really solid coverage, hits most of the team for super effective and if not neutral damage. And so this thing can just put in work if the right situation arises. And up next, Hex, the Mega Gengar. Sludge Wave, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot. Uh, Focus Blast isn't quite the most reliable move, but there was nothing else that I really wanted. This was like the only real way that this thing could break Ferrothorn, and that was kind of necessary. Nothing else really was needed. I don't, I don't think I needed the Gleam. I think just a strong attack from Stab could have Okoed the Dracovish. So, um, but this thing, it might not have the best matchup because of the two Ghosts and the Dracovish, which is in the Darm, which are probably going to be Scarfed and thus will outspeed me. But if it's not, then it's a pretty solid matchup. And up next, um, Solgaleo, Twist Scarf, uh, Full Metal Body, Close Combat, Iron Head, Knockoffs, and Headbutt. This is a pretty strong Solgaleo this week. I really like the opportunity it has. It hits almost the entire team super effectively. Minus the Dracovish and Pelipper. And other than that, it just breaks through the entire team. If I can just get it in the right situation again, where this thing can come in, click a move, switch out into something else that can take a hit, and then go back in, keep taking out Mons. And last but not least, Buzzwool. I really like it this week as a kind of good Darm check, pretty much. Also, this thing can check Dracovish pretty well. It's fairly bulky. And I brought pretty slow this week with the AV so it can help take from those special hits like maybe from like a hurricane from a Pelipper have like a better shot at living which it still probably won't. But that's paper thin spadef. But and then also Necrozma this thing could help me against Le Leech Life just to be able to deal big damage even though that thing has that ability that doesn't quite make super effective hits as strong. It's still good. So this is my team heading into the battle. See you guys there. Alrighty, Luke just sent the battle. Let's get into it. So looking at his team. Brings the Dracovish, brings the Darm, brings the Bayonet, brings the Pelipper, brings the Necro, brings the Dragapult. Pretty standard sets. Um... I don't really know what to lead here. Obviously, um, late game, I really like my, um, late game, I really like my Zerka tree, but I feel like Cinderace is just going to be a pretty safe lead. Um, I could just sucker here. Don't really know what exactly he wants to do, but I'll just sucker. Oh, it fails. He sets up Dragon Dance, cool. Um. So, if it's special, probably won't be able to, or if it's physical, pardon me, probably won't be able to break through the 
Dragon darts is me. All right. I probably should have gone for a second sucker there. But I don't really know how well it can break Buzzwool. And I also don't really know how well it can. It can probably break Solgaleo, but only with Phantom Force. So I'm just going to knock off here. Seeing if he wants to go for the Phantom Force. And if he does, then I can switch out. But if he doesn't. Okay, I can just knock it off. Oh, Colbert Berry. That's pretty sick prep. Goes for the Phantom Force. All right. So he's pretty slow if I outsped him there. Because. Alrighty. I'm just gonna EQ. Darts is me. Cool. And then once this thing goes down, I can knock again. Pretty safely. But yeah. This Dragapult was really strong ring from him. I don't quite have to knock here. I think going for a I think just going for yeah knock is probably just the safest play because this thing will be able to beat or er, knocking off is pretty helpful here because if we get rid of the Darm's scarf then that's easier to deal with for my Mega Gengar. If we get rid of the Drake Vicious scarf, same thing. Pelipper, cool. See what item it is. Probably just heavy duty boots or something like that. Crit's kind of unfortunate. Oh, it's Focus Sash. Cool. Um, I think I just have a pretty safe Zerka tree here. I'm gonna Hypnosis, but I kind of want to miss actually, and then get my Blunder policy going. Scalds me. No burn. Eh, it's fine. Hypnosis misses. Perfect. Blunder policy activates. So now I have. Turns to just do stuff. I think here, I'm just going to T-Bolt. Okay, start getting boosted up. I have four more turns of attacks here. And so that miss was actually quite helpful. Even though it was a miss, it was a blunder policy miss. So, like, there's multiple ways to do this. I like, okay, Dracovish comes in. I think I can just gleam this thing. Oh, Ficious Rend? How did that thing? 273, 4... Right, 283. How'd that thing outspeed me? It wasn't. Oh, Tailwind. Duh, I'm dumb. I think I can live. I'm just gonna Dragon Dance up and then be faster than his team and just kind of go from there. Vicious Rend is about 50, as expected. Now I've danced up. Who decided to give Kyurem Dragon Dance? I don't know, but cool. Sacks the Dragapult. So now we might just have to be a speed tie on Darm, which could be annoying. Goes Bayonet. Cool. So I'm just gonna Dragon Claw again. This thing might prankster Willow Wisp me, which could get kind of annoying. Destiny Bond. Okay. Prankster Destiny Bond, that's kind of annoying. But now, mm -hmm. this thing can win just by clicking Knock Off and then, or I can go Mega Gengar, and, but that thing doesn't outspeed either of the Scarfers, so I think just going Solgaleo on the Darm. I'm just going to click Iron Head because I am Scarfed and be able to take that thing out. Perfect. Cool. So the Dracovish is definitely Scarf because Zerkatry would have outsped it anyways. Goes Necrozma. Just gonna Iron Head that thing. Pick up some good damage. This turn I'm just gonna go Gengar. Mega Evolve and just Shadow Ball. I don't know if Solgaleo be beats Dracovish, which is kind of annoying. But Cool. Start setting up with those. Just gonna Shadow Ball again. Goes for the Moonlight. I think he might set up again. I'm just gonna. He could either heal or set up. Either way, I'm just gonna Nasty Plot up. Goes for the Moonlight again. Probably gonna go for another Cosmic Power or Moonlight. I'm just gonna Nasty Plot again. Goes for a Calm Mind. Cool. Okay, that does a lot. 
Store power will KO. Now, I will go into this thing. And then... This thing lives? God dang it. Alright, I didn't think it would be able to live that. I should have, but like... I should have just gone for the knockoff, even though I might not have 1 v one against the Dracovish, but now this thing just beats me. Unless I just Iron Head flinch it all the way down, or Zen Head but flinch it all the way down. Which is not gonna happen. Yeah. Rip. I think that was a roll. Yeah. It was a roll to kill there, but it's fine. So we're going to start out down. But, yeah, so we're going to lose. But, like... It was a roll to kill anyways, and then we just couldn't do it. That's kind of unlucky. I don't know if we beat the Dracovish one-on-one, -on -one, but a roll is kind of annoying nonetheless. But, so we're starting out a little bit weaker. I think I misplayed just throughout the entire game, so now I'm going to have to battle that back. But until next time, Jesse Fowl 4 out.